Libraries are more than just a place to check out and read a book. Of course you can certainly do that, exploring thousands of works for absolutely free, but that is only the beginning of what libraries have to offer. Here in East Lansing, we have one of the nation's leading research libraries available to us on campus. According to the Association of Research Libraries, MSU libraries are ranked number 11 in the U.S. on the list of largest research libraries based on the number of titles held, which is over 8.5 million cataloged digital and physical titles. That's a lot of resources. To explore some of these titles in person, the main library is located on 366 West Circle Drive, which is just south of Grand River and next to the Red Cedar. Within the main library, there are four floor levels with separate east and west wings. In terms of the physical materials that you can check out, there are expansive collections on topics such as art, history, science, health, Africana, and Chicano studies, virtually any subject you can think of. Additionally, these collections are not just limited to books. You can find DVDs, CDs, magazines, video games, comics, maps, spoken word recordings, as well as the software and equipment available to properly use these materials. Aside from these physical resources, I talked to Holly Flynn, the outreach librarian at MSU's libraries, to learn more about some of the other services they have to offer. In our digital scholarship lab, we have the 160 degree immersion space. So it's like a small IMAX theater in the library that it goes, it's like a round room. It's good for data visualization, three, 360 degree film art installations, digital art installations, things like that. We have a VR lab, we have 3D printers, 3D ching. You can check out a sewing machine, we teach knitting workshops, we have a video game labs. Students also have access to expansive collections of digital works available by simply searching in the electronic resources database. JSTOR, Gale, ProQuest, WorldCat, these are just a few of the commonly accessed databases along with a variety of periodicals, journals, and other publications. To top it off even more, the MSU Main Library can simply be a great place to study and get work done. They have quiet study areas and floors along with study rooms that you can use to reserve to study with friends or work on group projects with classmates. The amazing thing about all of this is that you can access these public resources and services for free just by being an MSU student. Even non-MSU student Michigan residents who are 18 years and older have the ability to browse this public resource and check out books. It's incredibly worth it to take a trip down to the main library and take a look at what they have to offer. Even if you don't feel like getting out of bed, you still have access to an entire digital world of resources. Libraries, especially MSU's libraries in particular, do so much for us, enriching our lives without asking for a single penny from us. They give us so much, yet ask for so little. How can we show them that we care? Simply by using the library and all of its resources is just the first step to show this appreciation. Countless amounts of time, money, and effort were spent creating, acquiring, and curating these resources and services for public use. And by taking advantage of what they have to offer, we give this work a purpose, a reason to continue. A reason for generations of publicly available knowledge to thrive and flourish, teaching us any little thing we wish to know. So visit the library. Talk to professors about using textbooks at the library in their classes or even using class time to schedule an information literacy instruction session at the library that showcases all it has to offer. Reach out to subject librarians to get research help on specific topics, showing them that their job has meaning. And above all, just use the library to its absolute fullest extent. After all, that's what it's here for, to help people like you navigate their academic, creative, and intellectual journeys.